Hello my friends, this is Yelena Brezhneva and today we have a renowned artist, Elena Bulatova. She is very talented, she has multiple art uh, galleries throughout the United States uh, and as uh, every real estate agent, you know, we have to know artists and designers uh, and it's, it's good to know, you know, the trends, the colors, uh, it's very helpful to have people like Yelena who can come and out of a house create a home with her beautiful pop art. She is known for her uh, large uh, sculptures, large installations. Uh, her uh, installations have been used uh, in a lot of uh, publications and medias. Uh, so uh, without further ado guys, let me switch my screen to Yelena. Yelena, you're on air. Welcome, my darling. Uh, where are you from connecting with us today? Hello, everybody. I'm here in Rancho Mirage, California. It's a Palm Springs area, Coachella Valley. Beautiful. Thank you so much for finding time for us today. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, Yelena, um, how did you actually start with your uh, beautiful, well, discovering your talents and gifts and actually going to this level today as a young and talented artist with multiple galleries throughout the United States? I came from uh, Russia in 2011 and uh, um, I uh, moved to Palm Springs, California and uh, I wanted to um, uh, start some business here. I didn't paint at the time. I just started it as a, uh, you know, American dream, doing it in a garage, uh, painting for fun, and starting do, doing different uh, air exhibits. And um, um, in 2013, I opened my first gallery here in Palm Springs. And then in 2015, we um, moved also to Las Vegas, and I ended up opening uh, four galleries, also Laguna Beach and Palm Desert, California. Wonderful. So, uh, what is the color today? I know we have a lot of uh, difficulties in this 2000, you know, 2020. But hopefully, you know, we can lighten up the uh, scene today with a little bit colors. Let's talk about colors. Well, uh, through my work, I love colors, but you know, everybody has their own preferences and. Um, some designers say, oh, this color is trendy this year, another color another year. In home, we live here for several years, so uh, I think you should go with what you love because you want to stay there multiple years and then you just update it. Your tastes change. Question. So, uh, I know uh, you are doing a lot of pop art and this is, guys, by the way, one of the, my favorite pieces, my favorite colors which is black and gold lollipop from the Sweet Life series. And I also have, I love this melting popsicle uh, from Yelena. How did you start it? This is absolutely amazing idea. I think these colors bring out children in all of us. How did you get to do that? So these are my Sweet Life series. We live in pretty hot places. It's, everything's melting here in summertime. and. Uh, it's just fun pieces that make people smile and they stop and see, oh, it's oversized candies. Everybody loves something sweet. So uh, sometimes uh, there is no like broad sense behind art. It's just uh, something fun, you know, and uh, makes you stop, uh, smile and think about it and uh, put your meaning to it. I have behind me also a um, big uh, rainbow uh, lollipop. This one was uh, created during Pride in San Diego and then I kept doing those uh, limited edition colors all the time. Uh, you have special collection ombre color on popsicle and then this black and gold, it's also with limited edition. I come up every year with some new colors, so some sparkles maybe for uh, Christmas. So it's uh, a lot of fun uh, process to create those. Beautiful. Could you share some of the interesting projects that you have done for, uh, like for example, uh, maybe galleries, maybe hotels, uh, new homes, uh, you know, new construction, something that maybe we, we know? Yes, we are um, um, very uh, uh, fortunate to work with different hotels. I have my uh, largest lollipop standing in Sofitel, Los Angeles. Uh, I have three galleries represented us there. We did hotels like Hyatt in Palm Springs, all my abstracts there. Um, there is the Marriott in Palm Desert, uh, the Pool Hotel in Guadalajara, NH Collection. Um, and the uh, biggest popsicle, it's on the biggest ship, um, 
Symphony of the Sea is a Royal Caribbean, 7th Popsicle in their candy store. And uh, also we do a lot of private residences. Um, one of the most exciting projects was for me, um, a residence of Tim Cook, uh, CEO of Apple. He has a residence here, so we did all of his house. I uh, did a lot of custom pieces for him. And then um, it's a lot of uh, big residences in Las Vegas as well. Uh, it's our collaboration with Roo. Uh, in McDonald Highlands with Christopher uh, Holmes. Christopher Holmes, I love those. The view homes, guys, you should see it. Uh, you know, she's done an amazing job. There is lollipops right there in front of all of the model homes. And then she has all these large abstracts throughout. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, can I ask you a question? Is it allowed for us to know? So what Apple CEO, what pieces he likes? Did he go for the Sweet Life series? Does he have, you know, any of your popsicles? He um, wanted actually a big rainbow lollipop for his um, uh, pool area, and I'm working on it still. Um, but he put a big brush by Effie, um, and um, we did a lot of custom pieces like uh, Man on First Man on the Moon and uh, Gandhi. And um, uh, let's see, he uh, really loves Martin Luther King, so he had uh, this in his collection. He loves uh, uh, street style art. So he has JR in his personal collection. He likes a lot of figurative things. Um, he has several abstracts of my collection. And then one piece was interesting story how uh, he wanted abstract with uh, just blue dots. And um, he sent something like what was similar. And I couldn't realize, like, because the photo was not really high resolution, I couldn't uh, understand um, what piece uh, it was. And then I was in Art Basel. I was working and I saw a similar piece. So I researched that artist and uh, I figured out this is pretty uh, prominent artist and uh, she's been hanging in a White House when Obama was there. So I thought Tim probably went to uh, visit Obama's in White House and he really loved this piece that he wanted something similar to that. And uh, it was little investigation, like kind of coincidence, but it really was what, what happened. I asked him, uh, and he said yes, he saw it in the White House. <laughs> so we did something similar for him to that uh, piece because that piece is in Smithsonian because Obama's they just uh, landed all the art uh, from Smithsonian when they were in a residence in the White House. Wow, absolutely beautiful. I love that story. So um, is your gallery open right now in Las Vegas, my darling? We're open by appointment. We are on MGM property. So um, Aria looks like it will be opening 1st of July and um, uh, we will be open for public there. Uh, but uh, we still do business and uh, people are welcome. Um, they are welcome to do appointments. In California, we opened a little bit earlier. So Laguna Beach is open and Palm Desert right now is open as well. Do you have any funny story for us? You know, something where people came from another part of the world and they've seen it or they've known also someone else had it, something like you just shared. Do you have any more funny story for us? I guess uh, we go through many stories, but um, one time it was a funny story. Um, I had a grandson of uh, Paula who came uh, to the gallery in Palm Springs and we went to bar because it was his birthday. And um, I still don't know till nowadays if he was for real or not. <laughs> we had, went to celebrate his birthday next to my gallery. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I guess I put me on spot. I, we have a lot of stories. But, uh, let's discuss something else and I'll remember something more funny. Okay, so uh, tell us about your recent features. So I know you've been featured in some of the um, I, I saw the recent one that you have on your website, you know, this is LA, uh, I've seen you've been featured, oh, I think it was Effie's, was it Effie's work that featured in the large stadium with all the thousands of fans where he presented his uh, piece, can you tell us Effie, about that one? That's Effie Mashiach, and he's my partner, for those who are uh, new to us, so he did a uh, um, a commission for angels. It was a pretty large commission. Um, Albert Pujols, um, he was about to celebrate his 3,000 hits, which is a huge. Um, and um, we got invited to the stadium, and um, Effie presented there his uh, custom portrait of 
samples made from screws. That was like three dimensional piece, and uh, it was cool how it was up of the work was uh, um, shown on all the TVs all around. The whole arena was like uh, looking at it, and then they put the art piece uh, separate. It was a present for Albert because everybody had a opportunity to take a picture with it, uh, and they lined up. So this was fun. We have actually a lot of artwork in Hollywood shows. Uh, this is a uh, really nice. So the latest is uh, Little Fires Everywhere with the Reese Witherspoon. Um, it's uh, different sizes, lollipops. Then um, I'm very excited about Selling Sunset. Um, this uh, this is a real estate show, so it's uh, based in Los Angeles and probably many of you are familiar with it. The yes, me and Elena, we talked about it, my friends, uh, for a while because, you know, <laughs> We were engaged and it was rather interesting show so uh, so they're going to be featuring your art how beautiful so i just um i hanged out in the biggest house it was listed for 43 million we went to last august so the builder he reached out to us and he purchased from us this falling sphere sculpture that it was a uh, interesting project we had to install this sculpture in the atrium in a garage the garage is huge there are all these ferraris and beautiful cars there and um didn't realize that uh, we knew it would be in the show, but we didn't know that it would be like the crown house of the show, and they will start the whole show with it. Um, so I see it on the TV, and I see the first two minutes how they feature this sculpture, they, they feature the whole house. I went with Effie last August, and we hang out there with my baby who was just six months old. I got to breastfeed him just in this like spot. <laughs> Here these are two punch pools. <laughs> Elena is a young mom for those of you that are just tuning in. Uh, he's actually one one years old right now, right? 15, almost 16 months right now. 16 months. Yeah, 16 months. So he's a good boy. <laughs> yes, he is. He's adorable. So um, I know you also do little, little popsicle mini features. Is this what you use for like, is it for kids or is it for adult? Because I've seen guys, she has lollipops like this big. I was always wondering, is it for kids? Uh, well, these are art collectibles and um, the lollipops and popsicles, they were so popular, but they are more on a higher end pricing. So we wanted to create um, more affordable versions. So we created uh, ones that are $89 lollipops and popsicles so people can uh, collect those as mini versions of the larger sculptures. We had a lot of success with that as well. So question, so what do you think about the collectible items that you have on um, prices will be going up for those pieces and in what time frame? Um, eventually yes. So. I looked at our career, what we did in five, seven years, how I started and was, was doing art shows uh, outside uh, on these festivals and I, I moved to art galleries and uh, uh, doing shows with museums. So the longer you work on your career, the more art will recognize you and uh, it's more value, you create more art. So uh, look right now at Andy Warhol, his films uh, were maybe thousand dollars back then in 80s and now they worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's not every art is going to generate increase in value, sometimes it's hit and miss, but I look at artists who work in their career, um, they have some goals, so I think uh, their art uh, will increase in value eventually. So Yelena, I see you're connecting through iPhone. Um, do you have an opportunity to show our viewers something with your phone? Are you mobile? Definitely. I have uh, actually... Uh, Can you show us? Like, yes. I have a couple pieces here. Um, we, uh, and I will tell you where I am. Actually, we are in my residence here in the Rancho Mirage. We sh were sheltering in place here. Um, this house was is for sale right now. Um, we just were remodeling it and uh, it was supposed to go on sale, but then we rented out our other house, so we were here for two months. Anyway, it's for sale, and I will show you some art around here. Just one second. So Elena has a little baby around, so if you guys hear baby crying, you know, that's <laughs> mama's residence. Okay, it's fine. So here's an interesting piece. Um, it is a lenticular print by Effie Mashia. Life is good. Oh, wow. With, uh, I mean, background, 
And um, this is uh, like three guys there, and their life is amazing. Oh wow, so that's beautiful. This is a lenticular print that we put here in uh, this residence. And next to it is very cool um, rocket, Atomic Love. It's a real, uh, the, the lower part is from World War II and um, the top Whoa. is from Red. So I have somebody interested in it from um, Dubai right now, but it's still available. Anybody likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Bar. Yeah, little bar area. We have also some comments on the current situation. No, this is gold. Oh, I love those. Yeah, another one is with Chanel. So, um, these are comments on, you know, uh, it's a, all the time in the time of crisis, people go to uh, gold. Um, and we have beautiful pieces here, like it's for Chino, it's a Latin American artist, cool cars, a lot of detail in it. Let's see, I have um, new pieces that are really popular last two months. Oh, I bears. love those bears. Absolutely gorgeous, my friends. Check it out. I have bears and barrels. So bears, it's a... Uh, uh, rose bear made from resin. I have those in two colors. I have this one. Um, it's a purple one. Oh my and god, I love it. Barrels. I want to tell you more about oil barrels. This is also uh, very cool pieces. They are art pieces, but you can uh, use them like to put something. And we have them branded and we also have them like oversized uh, drinks. For example, like a white claw. Somebody ordered from me right now. Um, this is also re reused. We love to uh, use um, reusable materials. Uh, these were salvaged barrels and uh, we just restored them. They're really cool. Here's a lollipop that's a Sweet Life series uh, and it's a large one. Oh, don't you guys love have... this dripping effect? I love it. Yeah, this is my abstract. This house is pretty neutral, white and gray, so we bring some color. And, yes, uh, check out my friends how these just beautiful uh, color spots completely give a different vibe to the whole house. This is amazing tool for anyone who is staging a property uh, or who just bought a new a new house and doesn't know what to, uh, you know what to put there. This is perfect solution. Yeah. And you see this uh, lollipop uh, outside is seven meters. I have wow. twelve feet of oh, This is cool by the pool. This one is blue color. I forgot to show you the table that's um, it's an art piece, also a lenticular piece for lovers of Pink Floyd. I'll walk around, it's changing. Oh, wow. Many of Effie's we create uh, to be a table. And oh, here's a look. We have a lot of wood from Bali that we brought a couple years ago. It's, uh, we create custom tables from them. This uh, piece, it's interesting enough, this piece of wood was perfect size between these two um, beams. We didn't even have to cut it. It was just oh, wow. the size. It was meant to be there. And I'll just show you my latest piece also, which is called uh, You're Beautiful. Um, it's a positive message, you know, here. And um, it's LED, let's see. I have, I have here, you guys can see me. I have here the remote, and I will switch it on for you. So what's cool about this piece it has light behind it, it can change, uh, it can blink, and you can choose the color. So oh, I love it. Here, so here, uh, if you put color to be red, I had a Chanel barrel there before, so it was pink, we just sold it, so we replaced it to this one. So here's a little bit of uh, art that I wanted to share with you. Beautiful, thank you so much. Wow, well, my friends, I hope you've got a feel uh, how these, um, you know, property got staged. Uh, oh, look at that wood piece under the TV. Is it also one from your collection? Yes, um, this piece, I was just saying, it's a piece in progress. If we're gonna install the uh, glass top on it, so it will be like a, it will be, it can be a sculpture, but initially we had it as a sculpture, but it will be like credenza. There's another wooden piece here. Uh, it's standing like a sculpture right now, but we're also planning to do a table out of it. You just put a glass on top of it. So. Uh huh. That is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Well, my friends, I hope uh, that was interesting. Um, 
to uh, see. Uh, I know the COVID-19, uh, you know, led to closure of your galleries and people didn't get a chance, you know, here in Las Vegas, uh, in your beautiful Aria gallery, my friends, if you are in Las Vegas, you know, make sure stop by her gallery here in Aria because it's absolutely fabulous. Uh, how did you manage uh, to do your business with all these massive closures, you know, with all the COVID-19 uh, precautions? Yes, it was uh, difficult for everybody. Uh, you had to reinvent yourself. So we took this time to build uh, our online uh, presence more stronger. Um, and uh, that's what we did. Um, and we had uh, several uh, uh, clients that we were working with right now galleries are open so we're going to settle it back to normal but also with the online presence okay beautiful um well my friends uh this was yelena bulatova uh make sure follow her on instagram elena bulatova fine art check out her website uh she posts uh, in her stories so always our uh, new online shop elenabulatova.com and the website is uh, elenabulatovafineart.com so we have two. I didn't know you have two. Well, congratulations. That is beautiful. That's why we launched one uh, with shorter name right now, last two months, where it's just like online shops. So you can see uh, uh, our newest, hottest products, the most popular things. So it's easy to shop. Well, I'll make sure to put this new uh, new website for shopping uh, in uh, this YouTube video. So my friends, make sure, you know, like and share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and share. I mean, show to your friends. I mean, her work is amazing. It just brings so much, uh, you know, color. It brings life. It brings smile, which is something we all need. Well, Elena, before we go, is there anything else you want to share with our listeners? Um, I hope uh, everybody's going to stay safe here and uh, you guys are uh, going to feel better. We're all in hard times, but uh, hopefully we all uh, go through this and uh, we'll be back to normal. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Well, my friends, uh, this was our live uh, transmission from California with Elena and I've been uh, streaming here from Las Vegas, Nevada. It was such a pleasure to have Elena Blatova, you know, live streaming and showcasing her artwork. So you actually get a chance to see it firsthand. Uh, you know, make sure you like and share and uh, follow our YouTube channel, follow her and I will 